Peace and riches, blessings. I am Michael B. Beck with the host of Take Back Your Mind. Peace and blessings, everyone. This is the life question of the week on Take Back Your Mind. So today the question is from Jade. Jade's from Boston. She says, I love hearing successful. Yes, she has the word successful in quotes. I love hearing successful people talk about where they have come from along their road to success. However, For someone like myself who struggles to get out of dark places, especially when they don't feel like they have the support or confidence needed to move forward and to do things differently, success feels so unobtainable. My question is, what does the journey to success even look like? What does it feel like? There have been many moments in my life where I feel so lost, And being present, this is in quotes, being present in the moment, quote, this doesn't feel like it's enough to sustain me sometimes. What insights can you provide? Jay, thank you for the question. First of all, when we talk about individuals' road to success, and then you're talking about how it's difficult for you because you struggle coming out of dark places, many people's road to success, and you have it in quotes because success means different things to different people, Many people have come from dark places. Many people have come from prison. Many people have come from being abused by mates, domestic violence, masculine and feminine. Many people have come out of poverty, illness, disease, to lead a very beautiful, wonderful life, a life of health, financial success, giving back to the community. So you're not alone in seeming to come out of a dark place. So I want to just set that up. Just because a person has gone through a lot of darkness in their life, that's not predetermining that they're going to be unsuccessful the rest of their life. No. There are certain principles that are involved that allow an individual to grow, develop, and unfold to their greater yet to be. You say here, my question is, what does the journey to success even look like? And what does it feel like? These are two questions that are very, very important. First of all, What does it look like? Now, when you read, for instance, a how-to book to success or well-being or health or prosperity, and that author is writing a how-to book, they're writing their particular journey. Everybody's journey is different. Your journey is not going to be like anybody else's journey. The success principles, the laws of manifestation and healing Those are all the laws that people use, but the journey is different. So when you ask, what does the journey to success look like? It's going to look like your unique path that you're creating. Now you ask, what does it feel like? This is very important because you have a feeling nature and you have an imagination. So what you are to use is your imagination, you are to re-enchant it, and you are to feel what success feels like. So we're reversing the question. What does it feel like? You want to determine what that feels like. So what does that mean? That means you re-enchant your imagination. You close your eyes, and you begin to imagine, according to your unique template, what does success look like to you? Is it being healthy? Is it being in your ideal place of employment? Is it being entrepreneurial? Is it being creative? Is it having great friendships? Because what we know for sure that the realm of abundance does not mean money. It means so many of these particular areas of our life working together in harmony. So you have to re-enchant your imagination about what success looks like. Then you must activate what it feels like. 
what does success feel like? What does happiness feel like? What does joy feel like? What does prosperity feel like? And then what are you going to do? You're going to feel that while your imagination is being re-enchanted. So you're combining the imaginal realm with your feeling nature. And you're not just being in the present moment. You're being in the present moment with a re-enchanted imagination and a feeling tone of success. That can be prosperity, that can be health, that can be great friendships. Whatever success means to you in this moment, you have to feel that it's already happening and then you have to see it in your mind's eye with the re-enchanted imagination. What is that going to do? It's going to shift your behavior, your speech, and your actions. You'll be compelled to act differently, to make different decisions, to make different choices based on you feeling successful and seeing with your re-enchanted imagination what success is. What I just described to you are mental laws, the law of mind in action. Feeling provides a healing and a revealing or a revelation. Imagination allows you to think outside of your present paradigm. Eventually, you will go beyond the imagination and begin to be available to more good flowing into your life that you can't even imagine. Things occurring in this field of infinite possibilities and infinite potential Things will be activated and you'll see opportunities that you couldn't even imagine before show up for you because your feeling nature is combined with insightful right seeing of a magnificent re-enchanted imagination. And then your journey will be your journey. I know for me, one time many years ago, I walked into what it used to be called the Bodhi Tree. It was a bookstore on Melrose. Avenue. And it was a perennial place where people would just go and all the spiritual books and the spiritual gurus' photos were on the wall. It was tea. It was a beautiful place. It was there for years. It was like a, a touchstone for many people. And I remember uh, being early in my catching vision as to what I would do with my life. I had this great spiritual awakening. And I walked into the Bodhi tree. This book slammed onto the floor off the shelf. And for some reason, everybody turned around and looked at me. I'm just walking into the Bodhi tree. The book slammed. And everybody turned and looked at So I went and got the book. And the book was Beyond Words and Thoughts by Joe Goldsmith. I didn't have any money then. I read it in the Bodhi tree. Then I went into the U section and read it. One day I actually bought it, but it began to language for me <clears throat> some of the insights I was already having about surrendering to the presence of God and the different stages of that. It was already bubbling up in me, but that book became like a touchstone for later on a lot of my teachings. Not necessarily using that language. I had my own language, but it just like gave me validation as to what was flowing through me it was true. But it just fell off the wall. Signs will show up. Book may fall off the wall. You may meet a person that will lead you on your journey to success. Where does it begin? Feel successful. Where does it begin? The imaginal realm. That's what success looks like. Now, of course, your imagination will change as you evolve. You realize what you may have imagined two or three years ago, and you kind of outgrown it. But you begin with re-enchanting the imaginal realm, activating your feeling tone. So what are you being present in the moment with? The feeling of success as you know it to be right now and the re-enchanted imagination of what that looks like. I'm telling you, the chemistry in your body will change, the coherence of your brain will change, the way you think will change, and then ultimately your behavior will change, your choice will change, your decisions will change, and it will lead you to action from success, not chasing success. Action from success. That's what being in the moment means. You're feeling the success already. Your actions come from 
the feeling of success. That keeps you from addiction. Because there are many people in the world, you may have read about some of these people in the news, who had all the trappings of success, but they were addicted to some aspect of it that prevented the evolution of their soul. So since the universe is progressive, it, they created a log jam in their soul that brought about disharmony, or brought about disease, brought about arrest, or brought about things like that because they didn't allow their soul to unfold. So you feel the success first. It'll lead you into your own journey to outpicturing more and more joy and success in the evolution of your soul. Jade from Boston, thank you for the question. I think you may have helped a lot of people. Tell your friends to like and subscribe. Take Back Your Mind, Life Question of the Week. Take Back Your Mind podcast. Subscribe to it so you don't miss an alert as to when something new is being dropped, okay? All right, have a beautiful day. Hey, thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to ask a question, please email me at podcast at michaelbeckwith.com. And you know what? Your question just might be featured. Have a beautiful and bright day.